This guy said, yo, I'm only joining the Navy to make money and to buy a fast car. Let's go. I took out my Navy boot camp graduation photo. If you, you probably you guys probably can't see, but I'm up here on the top level. But all of my fellow shipmates who graduated with me from boot camp. Who does it really matter why they're joining or why they joined? I'm sure there's some people in this picture that joined for money and a car. There's people that joined for service and for honor. Like Mulan. At the end of the day, it does not really matter though why you joined. Whatever got you into that door, whatever got you to sign the dotted line to get you into MEPS, to get you shipped off the boot camp, whatever that reason is, you're still serving your country, something that less than 1% of people do. So one of the really good things about the military, especially joining at a young age like I did, is that most of the time we're gonna have zero expenses. On top of that, the military is covering all of your other expenses. Your food, your housing, your insurance, that means all the money that you do make, although it might not sound like a lot, a lot of that is can be invested, it can be saved, it can be put towards useful things in your future. You can plan out your savings for months and months, for years and years and years ahead. You will always know what you will be paid on the first and 15th of every month. You get paid twice a month in the military. Um, you always get to know what that amount is. Once you make E4 and E5 in the military, there is no reason, even as an E3, there is no reason that you should not be able to save at least a thousand dollars a month. It is very easy to save a thousand dollars a month. Now, a little thing about me is that the Navy was my first job. I never had made this much money in my life. So I was like, dude, JT, you need to learn about it. You need to learn what to do with your money. So I literally dove in to every single piece of information I can read to learn about anything from mutual funds to brick and mortar banks versus online banking versus high interest savings accounts, certificate of deposits. Every little thing I can learn about how to be safe with my money I started doing because I was like, dude, this is so much money, what do I do with this? So from when I was 19 and 18, 19 to now that I'm uh, 26, you know, dude, that it really wasn't that much money that I was making, but at the time, like I, I had zero expenses. Now at 26, I'm paying rent, I'm paying insurance. I got, uh, you know, I'm paying my wife's insurance. I got my motorcycle and my car. I got my dogs, I got my cats. So if you wanna make a lot of money in the military, keep your expenses as low as you can. So everything that you make, you can invest, you can save, you can plan with. Now his second point, getting a car. You can very easily get a car. Stay away from their predatory, loan dealerships stay away from the dealerships right outside of the base these car dealerships know that okay this guy's getting paid on the first and 15th no matter what so if we want to give this guy 20 percent interest rate on a loan then he doesn't know what he's looking at or signing that's on him and they don't feel any remorse for ripping you off the main thing i can tell you guys is get educated know about interest rates know about how to grow your credit because that's how you're going to be able to get a car there's a huge debate all the time with people that hate credit and there's people that you know love credit and know how to use it the right way and there's people that always use cash there's people that never use a credit card you know it's a huge debate because it is very possible to get a car in the military um you i've seen people e3s e4s with 30 40 thousand dollar cars but they have six seven hundred eight hundred dollar car payments plus insurance and that's like their whole paycheck so it's up to you what you do with your money but um, at the end of the day, you know, I can only motivate you guys or spur you to or point you in the right direction. But yeah, guys, there's really no secret thing that I can tell you how to get rich in the military, how to buy the best car. It all comes down to your guys' spending habits, to your guys' knowledge on finances. If you really want to know what I recommend, um, obviously, if you can buy a used car when you're in the military, you really only need a beater to get around from one place to another. I wouldn't really throw all your money into a nice car right away as a junior sailor or a junior personnel in the military. Um, you just need a beater to get around base. Don't sink your money in a really nice car. If you're like, dude, I earned it, man. I need a nice car. It's just like a status symbol. It'll make me feel good and I don't really care spending three, $400, you know, a paycheck. Then yeah, sure, you might be able to afford a $20,000 car 
and get a card payment around $250. Um, you know, that's the most that I would ever do for you guys in your situation. I wouldn't spend more than $250 a month on a car payment as a junior sailor because then you're talking about insurance on top of that and um i would say just pay cash just buy a used car pay it all off cash if you can but i know a lot of you guys aren't going to be able to save that much money in that short of time you're not going to be able to have the money to buy cash so that's where you have to use credit and get a loan now with the money side of things if you're getting out of the military after four or five years i would definitely say try to save at least ten thousand dollars minimum i say try to shoot for you know twenty thousand dollars coming out of the military not only is that a great nest egg and emergency fund for you but it'll make you feel really comfortable and allow you to do a lot more things getting out of the military and have a lot more options than just like oh dude i don't have any money i'm broke what the hell am i supposed to do you can save up a nice nest egg. I'd say shoot for 20k. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you made it to the very end, make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment to help support the poppies. Shout out to Division 238. These are all my homies. I still talk to a lot of these people. I mean, not like every day, but I still am acquaintances with a lot of these people in my boot camp division to this very day. Where's my bull? And where's my pop? Look at that waggy. Look at that. Oh, that's a belly. That's a man. That's a man that wants his belly rubbed. Look at the face. Oh, that's a belly. That's a man that wants his belly. That's a man that wants his belly rubbed. Girl, you're very pretty in the sun. Girl, you're very sweet. Very, very sweet. Has a lazy summer.